Your banks a lot in Fedgar are watching Saturday morning cartoons and suddenly a news flash. Natural disaster. Holy hurricane fed guy, there's a massive storm headed for generic fictional New York. Looks like Captain Disaster is out to wreck the economy. When the storm hits, it will cause a real shock. What will real shock do to the economy? Real shock will decrease growth rate temporarily and increase overall inflation. What will this do to consumer confidence? Consumers will be demoralized and fear of negative impact will decrease investment. How are we supposed to deal with this? Positive shocks, such as new technology or ideas that create growth, shift the solar growth curve to the right, decreasing inflation rate, while negative shocks, such as natural disasters and unemployment, shift the curve to the left, increasing inflation rate. According to Kenneth Bachman of the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland, three factors determine the rate of economic growth. The growth rate of the labor force, the rate in which capital Equipment and structures are accumulated in productivity growth. We need to redirect aggregate demand by either increasing or decreasing the money supply. Restrict the supply could cause a recession from too low a growth rate. But if we put more money in, we could increase inflation beyond what the economy can handle. Well, whatever we do, we need to do it now. We can't wait to see the actual effect. When more money is put into the economy, the short-run aggregate supply curve shifts upward in equilibrium with the solo growth curve, and vice versa. When less money is put into the economy, the short-run aggregate supply curve shifts downwards in equilibrium with the solo growth curve. According to Charles Herman of ABC News via 2006, 2.3 million people had no power with insured losses totaling more than $40 million. Yes, we need to bring back consumer confidence and increase investment. Will it work? We can only hope so, but we won't know until after we completed our mission.